Welcome to Padlet Backpack. Here's how to quickly get started with your new Backpack account. First, you will need to be invited to your Backpack account. Even if you have an existing Padlet account at padlet.com, you will need an invitation to access your Backpack license. Typically, you will receive an invite link or an email invitation from the administrator of your account. If you receive an invite link, click it to create your new account. If you receive an email, click go to your account to get signed up. If you have not received either of these, contact the administrator of your account for more information. Once you accept the invite, you will be prompted to import your existing Padlets. If this is the first time you have used Padlet, or you aren't ready to import any Padlets, you can skip this process. You can import Padlets at any point throughout the year. If you want to import now, log into your account at padlet.com and select which Padlets you want to import. Either way, once you import or skip this step, you will land on the dashboard. Please take note of your backpack URL. To access your backpack account in the future, you will need to go to this specific URL. We recommend bookmarking this page. Now onto the good stuff, making Padlets. Here is a quick overview of how to make Padlets. For a more in-depth video, head to our Padlet 101 playlist. From the dashboard, click Make a Padlet. The first decision you make when you create a new Padlet is choosing a format. You can hover over any format to preview it. You can always adjust the format later, so don't stress about this choice. Next, customize your Padlet. You can change the title, appearance, and settings. I want to highlight a few settings. If students will be added to your backpack account, you can enable author and timestamp. That way, if your students are logged in when they post, their name will appear automatically on their post. You can also enable comments and reactions to increase collaboration. If you want students to submit answers without seeing each other's work, or if you simply want to approve each post before it is visible by others, enable Require Approval. Only posts that you approve will be visible to the other students. Once you change the settings, you can go to the Share menu to adjust the privacy and permissions of your Padlet. The default privacy and permissions are controlled by the administrator of your account. If students will be added to your backpack account, we recommend the privacy setting org-wide, which will force them to log in before accessing the Padlet. If students will not be added to your account, or if you need to share the Padlet with anyone who is not a member of your backpack account, try Secret, which will allow anyone to access the Padlet with the link. You can also use Password to password protect your Padlet. Then, users will need the link to your Padlet plus the password to access it. Make sure the visitor permissions match your needs. If students only need to read your Padlet, you can change the permissions to Can Read. If you want students to post on your Padlet, make sure the permissions are Can Write. The easiest way to share your Padlet is by copying and pasting the link. You can also share via QR code if students are using mobile devices. If you are using an LMS like Moodle or Canvas, contact your account admin to learn if they will be using the Padlet LMS integration. If you want to present your Padlet, click the play button to automatically convert your Padlet into a slideshow. Now let's check out a few Padlet examples. Click the Padlet logo in the upper left corner to return to the dashboard and then head to the gallery. Here is a KWL chart using the format Wall with Sections. Here is a complement board using the wall format. Here is a book review using the stream format. Here's a group discussion using the format grid with sections. Here's a collection of the tallest buildings in the world using the map format. Here is a notice board using the Canvas format.
Here is a history of dinosaurs using the format Timeline with Sections. You can always access the gallery for inspiration during the year. Finally, here are two tips to keep your Padlets organized. The first tip is to bookmark your Padlets and add them to folders. To bookmark a Padlet you are viewing, click the three dots in the action bar and then add bookmark. To bookmark a Padlet from the dashboard, click the three dots of the Padlet and then add bookmark. Then you can click the bookmarks button in the dashboard to view your saved Padlets. Click New Folder to add folders. Then click the three dots of your saved Padlets to edit the bookmarks and move them into your folders. The second tip is to create a Padlet that you use like a folder. Create a Padlet and then paste links to other Padlets within it. This can be helpful if you need to share many different Padlets with your students or colleagues throughout the year, but you want to avoid sending lots of links. All you have to do is share the link to the main Padlet and then you can paste links to new Padlets within it, which they can access. If you need more support, you can access our knowledge base by clicking the three dots on the dashboard and then Help and Feedback. Or you can navigate directly to Padlet.help. You can also reach out using our contact form, and we would be happy to help. Happy Padleting!